Now, each social media community has its own personality. We have Twitter, who the people who hate their lives and decide to go there and unleash the hate in the comment section to anyone. Someone posts a whole, whole wholesome video of a dog or a cat. They're going to find a way to make them feel miserable. And then we got what? We got Snapchat, which is just there. Snapchat is just exists. No one fucking uses it. Then we got TikTok, just basic savage stuff. Then we got Instagram. Instagram commenters, the community on Instagram, the shit they comments, there's a very special place in hell reserved for all the Instagram community. But today I was scrolling through Twitter until I came across this one video of a guy just posting his daily routine. Gets up, showers, go to his 9 to 5 job, comes back, plays with his dogs and go to sleep, right? And then I was like, oh, cool. Whatever, I don't know why I watched, watched that video. Then I went, I saw more pages and more pages are posting this video and saying this is a miserable life. I don't know how anyone can live this life. You're, this life sucks. This life is boring. This life, just bunch of mean shit. They were talking about this guy, about how his life is. Let, let's go watch the video. The amount of shit that he got for this video. Oh, he's stuck in the matrix. Oh, I would never live this life. I would never want to be him. This guy sucks. And I want to come out and share my point of view on his kind of lifestyle. Bro drives a Jeep. Bro has a nice new modern house. This is probably loaned and he's, he's paying it on a monthly basis on both. Bro wakes up early in the morning, showers, go to work, finish work by like four or five ish, come back get his dog and people keep mentioning that he is stuck in a matrix my friend that it's difference between when you make money in the matrix or you don't make money in the matrix the only life that will be miserable and you should definitely make a change about is when you make a thousand thousand two hundred dollars a month that's when you need to you know work your way up tell yourself this is temporary or start at a company that pays you this much at the beginning but there's a chance for you to go all the way up Bro doesn't look like he makes $1,000 a month. Bro looks like he makes $10,000 a month. Eats lunch at Chili's? I go to Chili's once a year for a special occasion celebration or something because of how expensive it is. I, I don't live a 9 to 5 job. I, my job right now is social media. It's been social media for the past four years. I've been on TikTok. As you can see with those two bad boys over there, after I surpassed 1 million followers, I got those things from TikTok. My main job is to do ads and advertising and just create content, like short type of content, memes, skits, whatever reaction it is on those socials and just companies for to reach out to me and for me to do an advertising for them. But last year, I decided to start YouTube because... I didn't want to do ads anymore. Why should I wait for a company to come up to me and even though I'm creating content every single day? Most of you that you've been around, you know the story. I'm here on YouTube because I actually love this shit. I found my niche after a, a very long time. I found something that I enjoy doing, shit talking people. It's cringe people. It's fine. It's understandable. But at the same time, with the amount of work that I put in every single day, it's, it's going to pay off. It's going to at least pay my bills. It still hasn't, but... 
I wouldn't mind to live this guy's life as well. I don't have a nine to five job. There's no literally no timing to do what I do. Yes, it's a, my privilege. I can take off whenever I want. I can sleep whenever I want. I can fucking take a break right now and just go nap. But there's also nothing wrong if you're at a good paying job, which is a nine to five. Doesn't matter what it is. If you are miserable with your life and you don't, love the job that you do then yes maybe you should consider changing it now yes his facial expression might make you think oh this guy is actually not happy this guy is sad this guy is a robot he's stuck in the matrix that he cannot get out of yes it can get a little bit overwhelming with a nine to five job but it's also discipline let me tell you something about having your own time side effects you don't have deadlines you can do whatever you want whenever you want then it is very easy for you to get lazy and get back on work what do you think most youtubers once they start making money that they just fucking disappear for like two three weeks then they make another video the people who used to make like two three videos a week but if you're in his situation and you think you are sad get a girlfriend get a boyfriend if you're a girl having a companionship with someone like especially a girl or a boy it truly changes your life it changes your mood in ways you cannot imagine i swear one boyfriend or girlfriend if you're in this situation is going to change your life and some people are saying oh it's slavery it's the matrix you do this until the day you you die this is horrifying no it's not now yes in the us i believe you have a lot of student loans you go in depth with the government a lot with loans and these things yes it's better not to live a luxury life and pay your debts as soon as possible but if you're clear on debt this isn't slavery this is totally fine you have a stable income you can save up your money you can maybe start a business on the side it just depends how your brain is wired in my opinion everyone should definitely start up somewhere with a full-time job i did that as well and eventually something will stick in your life and you meet up people you, opportunities open up for you whatever is meant to be it will happen for you but you also have to work for it if you miss up on that opportunity you're just gonna miss it and you're gonna stay the same place that you are all your life a tiktok video went viral for me in 2020 i stuck to it i made seven videos every single day for months that's when i blew up and that's when i got a whole career out of it honestly Work hard for what you want, doesn't matter what it is, and it will pay off. I'm sure you hear this fucking shit every single day. Work hard, discipline, but it's it's true. Consist consistency, try to improve every time, and it's going to pay off. It's just the truth. And if you're jobless, sitting at home watching my YouTube videos, saying, oh, Kush, this is slavery. This is, I, I would never get stuck in the matrix like that. First get a job, then we will speak. Anyways, just, just wanted to talk about that. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.